lovely Ethel Myers. She lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and she is 103 years old today. Now, Nancy Forbin is going to interview this little fella down here. Let me get on my knees and play Al Jolson, because this is Hero, a robot. And Ethel, if you're watching, Hero has a birthday message for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ethel. Happy birthday to you. Now, it, it meant be Foreman. <laughs> That's pretty cute. But can it blow out the candles? When Willard did his weather in this half hour, you noticed he had a little friend, Robot Hero One. Nancy Foreman joins us now with Lifestyle. Nancy? O'Brien, well, industrial robots have been appearing on the production lines in increasing numbers. But until today, there have been only a few custom-made personal robots. Meet Hero One, the first mass-produced domestic robot. It has an onboard computer, a sonar device. It talks, listens, moves about on three wheels, has a movable arm, and has also brought along his friend and chief engineer, Jim Lytle, production line manager for Heathkit Education Products. Jim, how long was Hero One in development? Oh, we've been working on him for about three years. I mentioned many of his, his features, but he also counts. He tells time. But rather than talk a lot about him, let's let him tell us what he can do. Okay, uh, let me swing the head around here so I can uh, have access to the keyboard. I've put in a little program to demonstrate some of his capabilities. Like all computer-controlled devices, ultimately he responds only to those programs or commands that are put in by the Ready. programmer. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Hero. I am Hero Zahid Educational Robot. I can talk like this. I can move my arm. Whoops, here comes I the arm. I have a brain <laughs> just like you do. But my brain is a computer. My owner programs my computer for me and I always do as I'm programmed. <laughs> I think I <laughs> make an excellent pet. I live in Australia. Now that's voice synthesis. That's right. The, uh, the system we use here uses the, the basic sounds that make up the English language to synthesize words. It has an unlimited vocabulary. How much does it weigh? Well, he weighs about 40 pounds. And how long can he operate without being recharged? Oh, it depends on how much you use the motors. The more motion, the more movement, uh, the shorter the battery life, approximately an hour or so with moderate usage. You're holding something that looks like a remote pad, but it's, what, what do you call it, a teaching Actually, this device. is a teaching pendant. What this does, and I'll show you here, Ready. let me just uh, run another program. This permits me to actually uh, manually control the movements of the robot, but it's more than just a remote control, because as I do this, the robot is remembering all the motions that I've uh, entered mm -hmm. into the, to the memory, and then on command, he can repeat these precisely and in the exact sequence that I've taught them. Mm -hmm. But he can operate without the cable. Then oh, you absolutely. remove the cable and he's on his own. Right. As soon as I remove the cable, run the program which I just wrote with the teaching pendant, he can do that over Realistically, and over. what kind of tasks could he perform? Well, Hero was designed primarily as a training device. However, there are a lot of practical applications that he could be put to in the home using the various sensors that he has. Now, he, he doesn't negotiate stairs right. I'm, I'm no, thinking maybe no, he could get ready. the paper in the morning. Oh, right? he could do that as long as he didn't have to, as you say, <laughs> negotiate the stairs. And the paper appeared at the very same spot each right. day. He would be programmed using the teaching pendant as I showed. <clears throat> How much does Hero One cost? Well, in kit form, that's a do-it-yourself kit, it's $1,500. Factory assembled version sells for $2,500. How long does it take to assemble the kit? Uh, we would suggest that a kit builder who would undertake this have some experience building kits, but uh, such a person would probably spend anywhere from uh, 60 to 80 hours on this project. So Hero One will be the grandfather of, of future robots. We it's think to so, yeah. teach the consumer, and eventually it can interface with other appliances and, and really do some work around the house, Very right? possibly, yes. The technology is here today to do these things. It's just a matter of uh, somebody making the commitment, and we're... we're uh, putting our foot in the door. Thank you for being with us, and thank you for letting us get the first look at Hero One. Thank, thank you. you, Hero One. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.